Hey guys, this is Pova, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to emulate a Xbox 360 controller with a PS3 controller. So if I go to an HTML5 gamepad tester right here, as you can see, it thinks it's an Xbox 360 controller. And I also have another, um, X this is an Xbox 360 controller test. And uh, as you can see, it is also working just fine. Um, even the vibration mode is working. Um, this also has Bluetooth support if your computer has Bluetooth, mine doesn't, so I'm not going to go over that. And uh, this whole guide, this video is based off of this guide right here, so if you don't want to watch the video and just want to watch a guide, and sometimes I just want to read something instead of watching a video, I will link that in the description. Uh, plus, you'll also need to get the uh, drivers from right here. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download the latest version right here. I've already downloaded it, as you can see, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, next, you're going to go ahead and extract it. You can see I already have it, so let's delete it. And just go ahead and extract it to wherever you're supposed to subtra uh, not subtract. Extract it to um, some program file folder, but uh, I didn't and it worked, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. It's much easier. You're going to go ahead and go to bin, and you're going to go to SCP driver and granted administrator permissions. Next, you're going to go ahead and plug in your PS3 controller um, before installing the drivers. And go ahead and let it do its thing. And oops. as you can see, it is currently blinking, meaning that it's not connected. And uh, also, if you have Windows XP or Vista, click force install. If you have seven or up, don't worry about it. So now that that's all set up, go ahead and click install. All right, so go ahead and click install. And let it do its thing. It should pop up again. Uh, it did for me the first day, there we go. And um, you'll see that it should stop blinking in a second and it should go to player one. There we go. So as you can see we have player one, it does blink, not sure why, but it's working now. So uh, if we open up that Xbox test, go ahead run it as administrator, because for some reason nothing works up being run an administrator on my computer. Anyways, as you can see, it's fully functional. Uh, I'll put this up to the mic. You can hear that it's vibrating and everything's working. So that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helped someone out because I know I did have some difficulty getting the PlayStation 3 controller to work on my computer. Um, I tried a couple of the drivers that didn't work. In fact, I actually have to reinstall Windows because uh, I couldn't uninstall the driver fully. So, uh, rip. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, see you next weekend.